Good evening, everyone. Good evening. I'll be doing the Bible reading for tonight, coming from Joshua 13 and chapter 14. If you haven't already, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to our church YouTube page. We have a ton of new uh, content that's coming very soon. Also, make sure you like our Facebook page. Again, if you want to keep up with any news that's coming up, make sure you keep an eye on our Facebook page. And as of right now, let's start, make, sure, make sure you start a watch party. Make sure you share. And of course, make sure you like the video so we can continue to spread this gospel. All right. Let's start with a word of prayer. Our Father and our kind God, we thank you for this Tuesday night Bible reading. God, I pray that you open up every heart and every mind to hear what thus saith the Lord. We love you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Joshua 13. Now Joshua was old, advanced in years, and the Lord said to him, You are old, advanced in years, and there remain very much land yet to be possessed. This is the land that yet remains, all the territory of the Philistines, and all that the Gershites from Sehor, which is east of Egypt, as far as the border of Ekron, northward, which is counted as Canaanite, the five lords of the Philistines, the Gazites, the Ashadites, the Ashkelonites, the Gittites, and the Ekronites, also the Evites, from the south, all the land of the Canaanites, and Mira, that belongs to the Sidonians, as far as Aphek, to the border of the Amorites, the land of the Gebelites, and all Lebanon towards sunrise, from Balgad, below Mount Hermon, as far as the entrance to Hamath, all the inhabitants of the, of the mountains from Lebanon, as far as the brook Mesroth, Mesrothoth, and all the Sidians, them, I will drive out from before the children of Israel, only divided by a lot to Israel as an inheritance, as I have commanded you. Now, therefore, divide this land as an inheritance to the nine tribes and, ha and half the tribe of Manasseh. With the other half tribe, the Reubenites, the Gadites, received their inheritance, which Moses had given them, beyond the Jordan, eastward, as Moses, the servant of the Lord, had given them, from Aurora, which is on the bank of the river Arnon, and the town that is in the midst of the ravine and all the plain of Mediba, as far as Dibon, all the cities of Sihun king of the Amorites, who resigned, who reigned in Heshbon, as far as the border of the children of Ammon, Gilead, and the border of the Gershites, the Gersherites, and Mechathites, Mechathites, all Mount Hermon, and all Bashan, as far as Salak, all the kingdom of Og in Bashan, who reigned in Ashtaroth and Edri, who remained the remnant of, of the giants, for Moses had defeated and cast out these. Nevertheless, the children of Israel did not drive out the Gershites or the, Mac or the Macathites, but the Gershites and the Macathites dwell among the Israelites until this day. Only the tribe of Levi, he had given no inheritance. The sacrifice of the Lord God of Israel made by fire are their inheritance, as he said to them. And Moses had given to the tribe of the children of Reuben an inheritance according to their families, their, ter their territory from Ara, which is on the bank of the river Arnon, and the city that is the midst of the, this, in the midst of the ravine, and all the plain by Mediba, Heshbon, and all its cities that are in the plain, Dabon, Bamoth Baal, Beth Baal Mion, Jaza, Kedimoth, Bepath, Kerjathen, Sibma, Zerath Shahar, 
on, this, on the mountain of the valley, Beth Pura, the slopes of Pisgah, and Beth Jeshima, all the cities of, of the plain, and all the kingdom of the and all the kingdom of Sihon, king of the Amorites, who reigned in Heshbon, whom Moses had struck with the princes of Midian, Evi, Rakim, Zer, Hur, and Reba, who were princes of, of Sihon, dwelling in the country. The children of Israel also killed with the sword Balaam, the son of Beor, the soothsayer among those who were killed by them. And the border of the children of Reuben was the bank of the Jordan. This was the inheritance of the children of Reuben, according to their families, the cities, and their villages. Moses also had given an inheritance to the tribe of Gad, to the children of Gad, according to their families. Their territory was Jazer, and all the cities of Gilead, and half the land of the Amorites as far as Era, which is before Rabbah, and from Heshbon to Rabbah, Mitzvah, and Betonim, and from Mahanim to the border of Debir, and the valley, Beth Haram, Beth Nimrah, Sukkah, and Zephon, the rest of the kingdom of Sihon, king of Heshbon, with the Jordan as its border, as far as the edge of the sea of Chinnereth, on the other side of the Jordan eastward. This is the inheritance of the children of Gad, according to their families, the cities and their villages. Moses had also Moses also had given an inheritance to, to half the tribe of Manasseh, for it was for the half of the tribe of the children of Manasseh, according to the families. Their territory was from Mahanim, all Bashem, all the kingdom of Og, king of Bashan, and all the towns of Jer, which are in Bashan, sixty cities, half of Gilead, in Ashtaroth, in Edri, city of the kingdom of Og in Bashan, were for the children of Machir, the son of Manasseh, for half of the children of Machir, according to their families. These are the areas which Moses had distributed as an inheritance in the plains of Moab on the other side of the Jordan by Jericho eastward. But the tribe of Levi, Moses, had given no inheritance. The Lord God of Israel was their inheritance, as he had said to them. Joshua 14. These are the areas which the children of Israel inherited in the land of Canaan which Eleazar the priest, Joshua the son of Nun, and the heads of the fathers of the tribe of the children of Israel distribute as an inheritance to them. Their inheritance was by lot, as the Lord had commanded the hand of Moses, by the hand of Moses, for the nine tribes and the half-tribe. For Moses had given the inheritance of the two tribes and the half-tribe on the other side of the Jordan. But to the Levites he had given no inheritance among them. For the children of Joseph were two tribes, Manasseh and Ephraim. They gave, the, and they gave no part to the Levites in the land, except cities to dwell in, with their common lands for their livestock and their property. As the Lord has commanded Moses, so the children of Israel did, and they divided the land. Then the children of Judah came to Joshua and Gilgal, and Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, the Kenizzite, said to him, you know, the word which the Lord said to Moses, the man of God, concerning you and me in Kadesh Barnea. I was 40 years old when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kadesh Barnea to spy out the land, and I brought back word to him as it was in my heart. Nevertheless, my brethren who went up with me made the heart of the people melt, but I wholly followed the Lord my God. So Moses swore on that day, saying, Surely the land where your foot has, has trodden shall be your inheritance and your children's forever, because you have wholly followed the Lord my God. And now, behold, the Lord has kept me alive, as he, as he said, these forty-five years, ever since the Lord spoke this word to Moses, while Israel wandered in the wilderness. And now, here I am this day, eighty-five years old, as yet I am as strong this day as on the day that Moses sent me. Just as my strength was then, so now is my strength for war, both 
for going out and coming in. Now therefore give me this mountain of which the Lord spoke in that day. And you heard in, the, in that day the Anakin were there and that the cities were great and fortified. It may be that the Lord will be with me and I shall be able to drive them out as the Lord said. And Joshua blessed him and gave Hebron to Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, as an inheritance. Hebron therefore became the inheritance of Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, the Kenizzite, to this day, because he wholly followed the Lord God of Israel in the name of Hebron, formerly was Kerjeth Arba. Arba was the greatest man among the Anakim. Then the land had rest from war. And this concludes the Bible reading for tonight. Let us end in a word of prayer. Our Father and our kind God, we thank you for this Tuesday night Bible reading. God, I pray that you will continue to open up every heart and every mind to hear what thus saith the Lord. God, I pray even now for those that are getting ready to go to sleep tonight. God, I pray that you will give them sweet rest and that you'll wake them up tomorrow morning with the Spirit of God for them, as our pastor likes to say, to seize the day, not only for our enjoyment, but God, that we seize the day for you. So God, I pray even now that you'll continue to keep our minds in perfect peace as we keep our minds, as we keep our minds stayed on you. God, I pray even now those that are working, those that are heading to work, and those that may be coming from work, God. I pray that you'll protect them from all hurt, harm, and danger, seen and unseen, God. I pray that you'll just keep them from, I pray that you'll keep them over as they go over the highways and the byways. God, I pray that you'll also just protect them, God. God, I thank you for your grace. I thank you for your mercy. You are a mighty good God. You are an amazing God. And for that, God, and for these things and more, we want to say thank you. We love you. We praise you. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen.